Hey guys, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and it's another Tuesday. We are doing Top 10 Tuesday Werewolf Flicks. Going through my collection, I know I'm a bad horror collector. I don't own The Howling or uh, Ginger Snaps. They would be in there. But I do have more than those. Uh, I need to get more of The Howlings. You know, going through my collection like me, I need to upgrade some of these films as well, the basic DVDs or whatnot, but alas, I, at least I have them, so I'm happy. Now I want to show off what I have in my collection. These are not uh, the overall 10 best werewolf films out there, these are just in my collection for werewolves. Alright, number 10 gets a lot of hate, but I kind of like it, and that is Cursed. This is uh, Wes Craven. With uh, Christina Ricci and Shane Elizabeth. I thought they did a good job with the whole werewolf transformation. The rest of the storyline could have been better. But I kind of liked it. It was different for its time. It needed a new werewolf film when it came out. And Curse was a lot of fun. Yep. So that's my number 10. Number 9 out of this 4 pack is Blood Moon. Uh... Solid werewolf film, a lot of fun, cheesy. I think this is from the 80s. I don't remember. But anyway, Blood Moon's a lot. It's a cool werewolf film. Uh, I did find a DVD somewhere. I heard it's out of print, so if it's still there, I might go pick it up. And then again, it's also in a sniper case, so I might say fuck it and just hold on to the four pack. <laughs> so, Blood Moon is my number nine choice. Check it out for sure. Number eight is a little bit of a different werewolf film. It's kind of a reverse werewolf film, and that is Blood Moon. Uh, this girl is part of a freak show, and she is the the werewolf. They call her the werewolf girl. She is all hairy, but she's all nice and everything's all happy. Uh, she falls for this boy that falls for her, and she falls for him, and of course. Uh, the kid, the other kids start picking on her. His mom works for a genetic research facility, and found out that maybe we can they can remove the hair, and so it starts working. And but she's turning more feral, and she becomes more of a like a wolf girl without hair. It's kind of a weird, weird reversed werewolf film. I really enjoy Blood Moon. You can find it cheap. Definitely pick it up. It's fun. It's definitely different for sure. Number seven is Big Bad Wolf. I found this at a video store one time, rented it, thought it was pretty good. The werewolf looked pretty badass. There's a lot of good gore to it, good uh, kills, high body count. Uh, when the werewolf started talking, you're like, what? And uh, it wasn't, it was good. It was overall a good werewolf film. I highly recommend this for a watch for sure if you're into werewolf films. Uh, Big Bad Wolf was a lot of fun. Check it out for sure. Alright, number six is unfortunately a bootleg. And that is Project Metal Beast. I saw this back, I think it was on the Sci-Fi channel. And uh, it actually wasn't a bad film. Pretty much uh, scientists are trying to come up with this metallic skin. That's bulletproof. Well, they also find a werewolf, and this one guy injects him. I think either gets bit or he injects himself with some werewolf blood. So he becomes a werewolf, but he sends himself into the uh, test lab so he can have the metallic skin to see if it works. And it worked, and so when he transforms into a werewolf, he's kind of like a bulletproof werewolf. For the film for itself, it was fun. It needs. It wish it would come out with a good release. Having a bootleg is okay, but having an official release is even better. All right. Now for the finals. There's a new one. That is late phases. Wow. This one was solid. I can't believe how good this film was. Uh, they haven't put out a good werewolf film in a while, and when this came out, I was kind of edgy at first. Then, of course, everyone was raving about it, so I picked it up, and I loved it. The blind, my, blind guy, he's a war vet, moves into like a gay community, and uh, someone gets murdered. 
torn to shreds. Kind of find out he thinks it's a werewolf. And uh, he has till the next moon phase to uh, prep and dispose of the werewolf and try to find out who it is. Pretty cool concept. Kind of reminds you of Silver Bullet a little bit. But uh, special effects were awesome. The werewolf, werewolves look great. Uh, definitely check out Night of the Lone Wolf, a.k.a. Late Phases. Awesome, awesome film. All right, now for one of my crappy disc editions I need to upgrade. That's Dog Soldiers. I bought this at a uh, pawn shop way, way back then. And uh, I bought it for like a couple bucks. I know there's a Blu-ray out, and I heard the Blu-ray is not the greatest. But I think I might just pick the Blu-ray up at some point to upgrade from this DVD. Uh, this DVD only has uh, a couple featurettes, but nothing too nuts. But what can I say about Dog Soldiers? Dog Soldiers is fantastic. Uh, yeah. Bunch of military men are out on a training mission. Of course, they run into werewolves, and these werewolves are start turning them apart. Great film. Love Dog Soldiers. Dog Soldiers kicks ass. Number three is, of course, The Wolfman, Lon Chaney Jr. The most original Wolfman himself. Got to have this in my top ten for sure. Is there crap on the side? Uh, but anyway, uh, Lon Chaney Jr. and The Wolfman. Great film. Classic all around. Got to have the classic in there, in your top ten somewhere. Without this film, you wouldn't have werewolf films. For sure. All right, down to number two is Stephen King's Silver Bullet. I love this film. This film I can watch over and over again. It's got that weird eeriness with the special effects and the sounds. Uh, trying to find out who the werewolf was was pretty neat. Where the kids were going around collecting cans. Because the kids shot the werewolf in the eye with a bottle rocket. So it takes a while for it to you know, regenerate. So someone's walking around with a patch. Don't know who it is. They got people with different... Uh, hiding their faces pretty well. You know, one guy's got at a barber shop, he's got a bunch of blankets on. Nope, it's not him. One guy just happens to be standing in the opposite way and or standing near a door. That was a really great film. Uh, great. I love the way the werewolf looked in this film. And seeing Gary Busey back when he was really good as an actor was awesome. And of course, the wheelchair was fantastic so kind of like late phases and silver book remind me of each other uh one kid's the in a wheelchair uh trying to uh, find out who the werewolf was and he had the blind guy trying to find out who the werewolf is pretty cool film and my number one is of course i have american werewolf in london <coughs> another awesome chick uh chick <laughs> awesome werewolf flick from the 80s, awesome transformation. Uh, all around, I can't say anything bad about this film. The sequel, on the other hand, we won't get into that. But with this one, it's fantastic. Great, I said the great special effects were in there. I love it when they show the final werewolf when it's right, running around uh, London. And of course, it gets the one guy in the head. <laughs> uh, also, some of the great flashbacks and the way he is transforming. And also when he, I think he was in the hospital, he sees his buddy there that's all mangled and shredded. It's all in his head. Pretty good film. And that is American Werewolf in London. Yeah, guys. So that's my top 10 werewolf films in my collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah. And put some comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. All right, guys. Have a good one. Later.